Now let's see about counter. Counter is a dictionary subclass for counting hashable objects. Hashable object means uh, the you know numbers which is iterable. Okay. So first of all, I just need to import counter from collections import counter okay that's it now to use counter obviously we need to create a variable that will be uh, anything which is repeated okay for example i'll just um, you know let me just uh, see if if there is something which i can copy yeah you can see that it is like uh, a a a a b b okay there are multiple a's and multiple b's okay so i'll just make a numbers okay 2 comma 2 comma 4 i'll just make a long series of duplicate numbers 2000 years later so you can see i made a list of numbers okay which is duplication okay you can see 2 has been repeated over here 2 comma 2 then here also 2 then okay let me just zoom it a bit yeah now you can see there are yeah multiple twos multiple values right so for example now if you want to count the single numbers like how many times it, it has been repeated so for that you just need to write print counter of a okay now uh, you can see four has been repeated five times two has been repeated four times so let's see that uh, you can see two there is one two then three and here four right so that means two has been repeated for four times similarly eight has been repeated for four times five has been repeated for three times six has been repeated for three times okay now you can see one thing that it is in descending order okay so the first one has the maximum repetition because you can see it has it is repeated five times right then these are like repeated four times then these are repeated three times then two one and yeah so on right so you can also use it for letters words everything okay which is uh, iterable okay now there are a few more things you can do with counter okay so let's go into the documentation you can see there is this element functions most common function then subtract function okay so uh, assume yeah let's do the element function first of all so i'll just make a comment of element function okay and this will be nothing uh, but it will show you the elements in a list okay so print the list of the counter elements okay so i need to make a variable of this counter a so that i can use the variable every time when i want to use this counter okay so c will be equals to uh, this counter variable and now we, we just need to write over here c dot elements okay so let's run it yeah, now you can see it printed, uh, you know, the two, four times, then four for five times, then five for three times. And yeah, so it will actually show you all the element in like a serial order. Okay, because you can see in the initial list, we have uh, like two is over here, then over here, then, you know, random two is in the random places. But now these are all set. Now these are all in order right and now there is one more thing that is the most common most common is like basically same as when you printed the counter a okay so let me just show you that thing as well print of c dot most underscore common and this is the function so i have to write parenthesis now if i run it you can see this is kind of same okay let me just comment this out and yeah let's make one more comment that is most common function and now if i run it yeah you can see you can see uh, when you print only the counter a it shows like four for five times similarly over here it is four for five times then two for four times yeah you can see over here so it is actually similar to what you printed the counter a but in different format okay because you can see this is in the dictionary format but now it is in the tuple format okay but now there is one more thing that is the subtraction so subtract function function yeah okay sorry subtract function now yeah you can see uh now assume uh, we have this four for five times right but you want four for three times so we can just remove the two more fours okay from the in from the actual list 
okay so let me just make a variable that is like is which will be subtracted from a and that will contains a dictionary of like you can see when you printed the counter it is basically a dictionary okay so let me just comment this thing uh, yeah you can see now we, when we printed the counter a only it is in dictionary format right so obviously you also need to write it into a dictionary format okay so for example we wanna uh, you know remove the two more four so four is four is the key the value will be two and then assume the eight should be now uh, one time so we are going to remove eight okay eight for uh, three that means three eight will be removed and similarly for example uh, one six will be removed so six clone one okay okay that's it now in case if you want to subtract that thing so we, we just need to write over here c which is nothing but the counter a and after that write subtract and inside the parenthesis we have to write the variable name which you want to subtract for for here it is s right so we want to subtract s from c now in case if i print c now yeah now you can see that over here it is four for repeating five times that means it printed this one this line and then when we subtracted s from the actual list now the four is now three times right so over here eight is repeated four times but we subtracted eight three times so now eight is one times right similarly over here six is repeated three times but we removed the one six and now you can see the six is repeated two times okay so in this way you can use this subtract function as well